Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is our fifth preparatory ground instruction lesson on attitudes and movements. Uh, prior to watching this video, you should have reviewed exercise five in your flight training manual. This is the first lesson that we're going to talk about that's actually a lesson in flight. The previous ones, preparation for flight ancillary controls, kind of incorporated into all the other lessons. Uh, but this is the first one where your instructor is really going to take you out and say, okay, this is what we're doing today. We're going to learn all about attitudes and movements. So let's get started. First off, we have to be familiar with the uh, three movements that are involved in the aircraft. The first one is pitch. So that is uh, the elevator on the tail of the aircraft, pitches the aircraft nose up and nose down, where you can use the uh, yoke or the stick uh, forward and backwards, and pitches movement around the lateral axes, as you can see. This is the aircraft pitching up. And this is the aircraft pitching down. Okay, here we have the elevators moving up and moving down. And the elevators move up, the tail is forced down, forcing the nose up, and vice versa. Our second movement is roll. We use the ailerons to roll. Uh, that is accomplished by having the yoke or the stick moving it left or right. It's movement about the longitudinal, longitudinal axes. Here the aircraft is rolling to the left and to the right. You can see the ailerons on the wing tips moving the wings up and down, forcing the aircraft to roll. Let's take a wingtip view of the ailerons moving up and down, making the aircraft roll. The third movement we have is yaw. The uh, rudder on the tail of the aircraft makes the aircraft yaw, and we use these rudder pedals. Moves uh, left and right around the normal or vertical axes and makes the aircraft yaw. This is the aircraft yawing left and yawing right around the normal axis. Look at the rudder deflecting left and deflecting right, forcing the tail left and right, and therefore the nose left and right. Let's discuss uh, the different attitudes in an aircraft. So first off, we have something called the cruise attitude. The cruise attitude is the majority or where your aircraft will be the majority of your time when flying the aircraft. The wings are level. And it's important to note, it, note that the view outside is dependent on the height of the pilot. So I'm a pretty short guy. I'm like five, and, five foot six and a half. And when I look outside, I can usually put uh, four fingers between the horizon and the instrument panel. But if you're, let's say, six six foot three or something like that, you're going to be able to put like three hands uh, high. And if you're super short, like five feet or less than five feet, well, you, a cruise attitude uh, for you will be, uh, let's just say, the horizon or the instrument panel, the top of the instrument panel is on the horizon. And we'll go into that in the uh, video here shortly. This is the cruise attitude for most average sized people. Memorize this attitude. It's how you're going to be flying most of the time. Let's talk about the pitch attitudes. We have nose up and nose down attitudes, and these can be divided each into gentle nose up, uh, medium or steep, and they can be nose up or nose down. This is a gentle nose up attitude. In a gentle nose up attitude, the nose of the aircraft is approximately at the horizon. This is a medium nose-up attitude. Notice that the horizon is now considerably below the nose. 
This is a steep nose up attitude. The horizon is well below the nose, if visible at all. This is a gentle nose down attitude. A medium nose down attitude. And a steep nose down attitude. can also have banked attitudes. Gentle is less than 15 degrees. Medium is 15 to 30 degrees. And steep is greater than 30 degrees. A precision steep turn uh, is typically 45 degrees. So let's watch a video uh, on how these different attitudes look like. And keep in mind, it's not exact. This will be different for every pilot based on the aircraft that they fly and how high they are. So let's uh, see just kind of an example of how these different attitudes look like. This is a gentle banked attitude to the left. It's approximately 15 degrees angle of bank. This is a medium banked attitude of approximately 30 degrees angle of bank. And finally, a steeped banked attitude of 45 degrees angle of bank. Here are some combination attitudes combining the various pitch attitudes and banked attitudes. Lastly, let's talk about the causes of yaw. Uh, causes of yaw, this is assuming other than you actually yawing the aircraft with the rudder pedals, can be caused by power changes. So adding uh, power, uh, adding throttle will increase or decrease the slipstream and torque on the airframe and uh, will change the yaw. Aileron input uh, may cause yaw, a side slip, or turbulence. And if we don't correct for yaw, we can end up in a roll. So we want to make sure that we control yaw with our rudder pedals. And your instructor will demonstrate this to you in flight. Let's talk about a, a safety item, the transfer of control. So this is uh, likely your first lesson. You're going to be going flying uh, very shortly. It's very important that you understand who is flying the aircraft. So even though there are two controls, only one person can be flying the aircraft at a time. You can't be fighting uh, over who has flying the aircraft. So we say, I have control and you have control and then the opposite. So if your instructor says, I have control, you just say you have control and you let go of the uh, controls. What is not acceptable is that both people fly the aircraft. So uh, what should not be happening is you flying the airplane and your instructor kind of helping you out and pulling on the controls. If, if you're doing something wrong and you can't land the airplane, that's fine. But then the instructor will be taking control from you and you just let go and let the instructor land or do whatever needs to be done. Let's review uh, the three movements, our pitch, roll, and yaw. 
we have four uh, attitudes, uh, cruise and gentle, medium and steep. And, and all of these can be either nose up or nose down. And we want to control the yaw with rudder. That concludes this lesson on attitudes and movements. Uh, thanks for joining me. And we'll see you in our next lesson on straight and level flight.